You're probably tired of me asking you questions, aren't you? I, I know you out there probably have some questions for the Heisman Trophy winner and the all-time leading rusher in college football. So don't be shy. If anybody has any, any questions for either of us, but I, we're here really for Ron. Um, we'll the fullback. Yeah, we got the fullback over here with the, with the cap on. Yes, sir. Ron, are you retired? I'll repeat the question. Yeah. Uh, the fullback here, fullback here wants to know if Ron's retired. Um, I'm so, so, you know, um, I had an operation done on my ankle in December where I had a scar tissue that turned into bone. And they took it out and they fixed my ankle, but they hit nerves and, you know, that has something to do with my foot. And it's kind of, it kind of feels like getting hit in your funny bone in your elbow all day, all night. So they said it was supposed to go away about three, four months ago, but it hasn't went away. So I still get calls from the pros, you know, and I think I could go play and make a team, but I couldn't practice. So that would be the toughest part. I'll tell you right so, now, Packers should have. Huh? Well, Packers don't, don't like big bets. Maybe Packers won't bet. Huh? They don't like big bets. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you could run over Jared Allen or whatever. Yeah. Uh, young lady over here. Yes. How many years did you play football? This is probably maybe everything. First started playing. I started. I started playing football when I was three. Tackle. So I started playing. When I was three, I played all the way up until I had, so I was about eight. Then I moved to Jersey. I couldn't play in Jersey because if they went by weight. In Jersey, in Virginia, they went by age. So and, uh, when I moved to Jersey, the weight limit was like 135. I was already like 180. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to play. <laughs> I mentioned, I don't want to forget, you, you coach your son now, right? Yeah, I coach my son now. You know, but he's nine. Yeah, he's nine. I played uh, soccer. That's what I did, you know, to kind of keep me out of trouble and do my thing. But, yeah, my son is nine now, and he plays in one key. And he's five pounds overweight. And I was like, oh, I wonder why. <laughs> so, yeah, he's, uh, the weight limit was 95. He's 100. But he's loving it. You know, he plays on the defensive line and the offensive line, and he's having a great time. You know, he's enjoying it, and it's fun just to see it and hear people like, "Oh, your son is so good. He can do this. He can do that." I'm like, when you get home, boy, I gotta, I gotta tell you something because something's wrong. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm harder on him than people. <laughs> people home, right? Young man, right here, right in the middle. I don't know. If hopefully, you know, if I can get the feeling back in my foot. You know, uh, Brett Favre is 40, so uh, uh, I'm, I'm 31, so I got. I think I can. I can hold out for a little while to see how long it's going to take the hill. Go back over here. Is great. Yep, you go right in. Any other sports besides football? Yes, yes. I, am, uh, I wrestled when I was in high school. I wrestled for one year. And then I did track, track and field. I qualified for the Olympics in 96, but I, I wanted to come to play football, come to Wisconsin and play football, so I didn't go to the trials, but I had qualified. Was that a hard decision? Was it a hard decision? <laughs> no, it wasn't hard. Not hard. <laughs> I, was, uh, I wanted to play some football. There you go. Go back, yep, go ahead. How many games have you won? A lot more than you lost. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's a tough question. Uh, Boy, it's a in lot. college, we probably lost about oh. six or seven games in four years. Yeah, not bad. Then when I was with the Giants, my first year, we went to, to the Super Bowl. So we lost about three or four there. The next year, we were bad. <laughs> this, this young man right over here. Say again. Was it hard for your first game? No, it wasn't really hard for my first game. I got in, you know, the game had already started. Uh, you mean in college or? College. College, yeah. I, I was getting in. I wanted to get in earlier, but I would get in at like five minutes left. In the fourth quarter, so you know I was, you know, 
uh, just come to clean up back at first. We were, Ron and I were laughing, uh, Mike and Ron and I on the way down here, we were talking, Ron's freshman year, his last regular season game, his freshman year, the Badgers played in Hawaii. This year, the Badgers are going to go back down to Hawaii again. Um, Ron, uh, Ron played the first half and maybe one series of the third quarter and gained more than 300 yards. Um, you probably would have, if you would have played the whole game, I'm not kidding, you probably would have had six to seven hundred yards that night, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, it was, it was, that was a great game. I love that. It was beautiful. That was a great game. We started out playing and, you know, uh, kind of thought it was going to be a tough game because we were down there for a week. So we like, Shh. we come into the game like, man, these guys might get us because we tired, tired, and we've been running around and we doing everything else besides football. And then we got in the game and had a couple good runs early. And then from there, a lot of the guys were like, oh, hey, nice to meet you, Ron. You know, just let me run by him. Wanted so, no part of it. Yeah, just yeah. wouldn't even touch me. I'm running at him. And he's like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, we had, I had a great game that game. That was fun. Over here. What, what are you? I went to school journalism. That was my major. He was, yep, he was, and then he decided he was way too smart for that. Guys like me had to stay with it, but Ron has talent, and he went on to do, uh, to do great, great things. Uh, let's, let's go way back in the back. I think we've got a, yeah, way, way back in the corner there. Yeah, did you have your hand up? You have to speak up loud. Did I have a friend that played football? When I was little, um, no. Well, I had a couple friends when I was when I was smaller. When I lived in Virginia and I played football, um, I don't really remember their names now, but that's probably the reason why I started playing because a lot of my friends were playing and they were older. I was only three when I started, so like all my friends were about six or seven. So I played with those guys. I think we have time for two more here. Which we get this, this young man. Yes, go ahead, sir. Um, what was your favorite game? Favorite game? <coughs> Probably when I broke the record. <laughs> <laughs> when I broke the record against Iowa. That was probably my favorite game. I'm thinking one that would be number two, Mike. So you were the Rose Bowl MVP twice. You're tight. You still have, you're still tied for the Rose Bowl record, single game rushing. That UCLA number two game. is Hawaii. Number, yeah. two. number two? More, more than the Rose Bowl. 340 yards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Interesting. There's a lot to choose from. That's the good news. Well, we, got, we have time for one more question. I think you right over there have had your hand up for a little bit. Um, I didn't really retire yet, so kind of just sitting around. <laughs> Still no coaching. Yeah. You enjoy coaching? Did you like the? No, no? I don't, don't want to do anything. Any anybody that's over nine or ten, they start they start noticing they can play good, and you know you, you kind of got to be like, okay. You know, so I definitely couldn't coach college because those guys grow them in and. It's like, oh, you don't want to do it? Okay, well, let's go outside. But, you know, so that's why I think Coach could. Well, this is fun now. Oh, yeah, that's, that's it, It's really been, uh, been a privilege for Ron and I to, to be here tonight. And uh, we, were just so, we were talking at dinner. We were just so impressed with, with it. everybody who came up to the table, all the young men and women. You're so you're incredibly polite. You're doing things the right way. Uh, you're a very, very impressive group, and it's a real privilege for Ron and I to be here tonight. Uh, we do thank you so much for having us. All the best to you. Have a great year, and uh, always remember to cheer on the Badgers. See if they can beat Ohio State. Thank you very much.